Pardeep here from the lab at 1212 Gateway. Welcome to our three-part series on skin lighteners. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fairly complex topic and we're going to be breaking it down into digestible little chunks for you guys. We're going to be starting by talking about what skin lighteners actually are and why you might need them in your skincare routine. In this video, we're going to be talking about how hyperpigmentation and dark spots happen on the skin. So first of all, what are skin lighteners? They are compounds that can be used to lighten dark spots and hyperpigmentation on the skin after it has already happened. Most people, but especially people who are melanin rich skinned, usually end up with hyperpigmentation and dark spots at some point in their lives. So dark spots and hyperpigmentation can be caused by many factors such as acne, injury, excessive sun exposure, phototoxic ingredients in skincare products, such as certain essential oils, or taking antibiotics, genetics, and even sometimes a combination of all of these factors, they can even be caused by pregnancy and other hormonal changes. All these issues trigger inflammation, and inflammation triggers your melanocytes. Bear with me as we crawl into this rabbit hole. Melanin, which is the color of your skin, is formed in the melanocyte, which is a type of cell that resides underneath the layers of keratinocytes, which are layers of skin cells. People of color have very large melanocytes that are very easily triggered to produce melanin, which is why even a little scratch can leave a permanent scar for some of us. People who are light-skinned just have smaller melanocytes that are not nearly as easily triggered to scar and spot. So, for people of color, if the melanocytes are not targeted directly to reduce melanin production, they can cause scarring, spots, and hyperpigmentation. So, with all that hefty chunk of knowledge drop, the most important takeaway is that you must prevent inflammation in order to prevent scarring. And what is the best way to do this? Wear sunscreen religiously. Whether you are melanin light or melanin rich, the sun is not your friend. So there you have it. I'm sure you have a ton of questions for me after this video, so please like and subscribe to our channel and comment below on what other helpful content you'd like to hear or see from us. Make sure to catch our next two videos in this series. Next time, we will discuss the five best skin lighteners that are on the market for melanin-rich as well as melanin light folks out there. Thank you for letting us come along with you on your skincare journey.